Resident of New Somenya in the Jabosa district trekked some two hours before accessing medical care. The situation had in some instances claimed the lives of individuals within the community. The NP for Jaboso, Kobnamintai Kando, on the back of the health challenges faced by the community has constructed and commissioned a CHIPS compound with essential medical equipment. The CHIPS compound, valued at 250,000 Ghana cities, forms part of the MP's efforts to ensure access to quality healthcare delivery in the area, especially among women and children. The health facility has two female wards, a consulting room, a dispensary, and an accommodation for the health officials, and will serve about eight communities, including Aboboya, Yaojem, among others. Some of the residents who spoke to the media narrated the challenges they had to go through before accessing health care. 2016, our boy, our baby, 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 our Na se bi wo ha mi jiri sanka e be de e be so anu nje ne se mo fi se yi love you no me kwa me kwa jintu mu amon kan che na me kwa jintu me nko ha the np during the commission solicited the views of constituents on whether to approve or reject the controversial e levy mr kanlo charged them to fast and pray so that the npp doesn't have it for complement in parliament to enable them approve the levy and so from the response I gathered, it is their hope that this E levy never be passed. And the only way, the only way this E levy will never be passed is for, is for the MPP not to have their full complement. And so that is that it's a, it's a genuine prayer. Pray yes, it's a genuine prayer. Genuine prayer. In fact, some of them should fast to, to pray that the MPP in parliament will never have their full complement in order to pass E levy.